All right, in this video, we're going to be looking at select. What else can I say? Uh, I think you selected the right tutorial. Feel free to cringe. And um, before before you walk away, just leave the video. Just leave the video playing if you are going to walk away. But what we're going to do is look at the docs. And then I got a couple examples for you all. So let's get to reading or having me read to you. So it says select is a component that allows users to pick a value from predefined options. Ideally, it should be used when there are more than five options. Otherwise, you may consider using a radio group instead, which is cool. I like that. You know, five options. They've done their research. They've, you know, looked into this. And that is actually pretty interesting because if you only had two selections from a drop down, you have to think they have to read the select of, of what it is they're selecting, click it, see the drop down, and click again. Whereas if you have like a radio group, they could just click once. And you have to think about that over, you know, maybe potentially tens, hundreds, thousands of customers, right? You want to have them click and do as little as possible to get them to the end, especially if they're paying money for something. So we see the import coming in as a select right here. And this is how it works. They only have, uh, you know, like three real options right here, which is you know not there there are five here but i mean this is just a small example why would they provide five you know for an example and so we have the select we have the placeholder up here let me scroll back here so the select option and then we have the values of option one option two option three and then we have the matching text in between the option elements right here not rocket science going on but really just uh you have a select component and then you have the child or children option elements inside. So then changing the size of an element, we have extra small, small, medium, and large. As you can see, these are then laid out right here. Large is pretty good sized, but maybe some people want their, uh, their text a little bit larger here. And so you do that by going in here into your select and you just type size and then you can give it the value of extra small, small, medium, or large. And it says, just like the input component, select comes in four variants, outline, unstyled, flush, and filled, pass the variant prop and set it to either um, of these values. And so we have the outline, filled, obviously there's a gray background, flushed, there's no padding margin stuff going on, so it's really hugging the um, you know outside here, but there's still an underline. And then you have this unstyled, which... You know, if this was a like a uh, was it an input, yeah, just like the input component here, you know, you have this like drop down arrow right here. So that doesn't necessarily mean that they're not going to notice it. Like an like if you had an input without this symbol right here, and it was just like something you click into, it would be hard to notice. But I, I I'm still kind of on the fence of whether or not I personally would use something that's unstyled. But if you were to come in here and do it, you just type in variant as the prop name equals. And then as a string, you type outline, filled, flush, or unstyled. Then we have changing the icon in the select. So we have this arrow right here. And do you notice these are like the um, arrows, but they're, they're not really filled in. But this one is like a solid, you know, thick filled in arrow right here and this is the md arrow drop down i believe from the chakra library or icon library and you just pass in the icon prop and then you just give it that component um, that you're bringing in directly there and so you could override the styles of the selects here so just like anything it's a box so you come in and choose the background color of a tomato and then this is going to be that blue color because you're really just impacting the select, not necessarily the option here. And so we have color white for text, uh, you know, the border colors, tomato, and then, you know, we have the placeholder text, which is pretty standard there. So if you wanted to come in and customize more about this, make it gradient, whatever, you could do that as well. And so we have the props down here for other things that may or may not have been covered in this video and in there visual documentation at the top so be sure to always come back here and check it out but we have a couple examples so let's get to coding all right so for this first example with the select what we're going to do is we're going to look at the size how how do we change the size what about the variant can we do some placeholder text 
And then we could do also cool stuff like add an icon. So um, let's get to doing that in this use state right here. So like I said in my last video, I've done these pretty far in advance and sometimes I check my work before I do something. So don't worry about this use state until the next uh, example. So let's get to coding. All right, so we have a basic select right here. We have these options down below. And as we click, we can see sub to my channel. We have pet my dog, Bernie, which he's chewing on something in the background. So if you hear a weird gnawing sound, that's him being excessively loud. He loves to sit next to me, especially when I'm recording and just be as loud as humanly possible while living his best life. And then we have have a beer with me right here. So we have the size. Let's first show this off here. We have size small. What else do we have available? Oh, we also have extra small, which makes it even tinier. We can even go up to large. And I'm going to keep it large here for the rest of the tutorial because I think it's just easier for everyone to see. So we could see these as we drop down here. But just like the you know other kinds of input um, options here, what are these things if we're not actually providing any kind of value? So let's go ahead and set up the value for these. So now nothing's really changed right here. We just have these values in here, which we're going to get picked up. And actually, in the next section, what we're going to do is show you how to play around, capture these values with state. But for right now, we have this placeholder. Let's get back to this. We have select an option. We could change it to select stuff. and We could see that changes right here. And let's say we want to do something a little bit fun right here. What if we wanted to add an icon? So we have this by default arrow coming down here. But what if we wanted to add something else? Now, what I'm about ready to add is this bell icon up here that I brought in. And it's not going to make sense for it to be an arrow to click to drop down. But maybe you or your own team have an icon you want to use in place of what Shocker is providing, which is quite common. We could do that this way. We see that this right here turns into a bell. That's pretty cool. And so one last thing before we go into the next section is what about variants? Let's do filled first. So as you can see, it fills it in with color. It makes it this kind of gray background here. Flushed. Which is interesting. It makes it more look like an input. You know, there's just like a this line down below. We have outline, which is kind of like flushed-ish. But, you know, you get to see a very thin outline right here. And then the last one is unstyled. So I guess if you wanted just to hide the fact there's a drop down possibly, but it still works. So in the next section, what we're going to do is work with this select, make it controlled, hook it up to some state and capture some values. So now that we're back here again, let's actually use the state that I had earlier and was teasing y'all with at the beginning or at least middle of the video. So let's come in here and Let's just have some kind of predetermined value. We can have value equals value. And so we have sub to my channel up here, but let's trim it down a little bit so it's less verbose, less room for error. We just have sub. And we're going to change it from unstyled to filled. So everything's a bit easier. So we have sub to my channel here. And so this select here is going to be this value, as you can see. So when it loads, this is the text that belongs here. If you don't believe me, let's add a few exclamation points and voila, that appears here. But how do we change this stuff? How do we update it? Well, first let's add some text here. 
It's because I I'll try and show my work. And let's add an on change. Now we have this right here. And so this value is going to be the values that we see right here. So we have sub to my channel, which is the default coming in up here. So obviously this text is going to reflect this right here. But if I switch it to pet my dog Bernie, it should say Bernie up here because now the set value is being updated with this right here. So let's do this. And we see that it says Bernie. If we come down here and have a beer with me, we can see that it updates it to beer. And this is how you could hook up state to a select uh, component here. Hope you like what I'm doing. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. I'm sure my dog enjoys it too. And I'll see you all in the next video.